my best buy or instruments you better have am i heard yes sir please yes, sir. okay yeah yeah now here is the first one i feel each one of us must have the set of allen key and this is a set of spanners you get them in the hardware market at the cheapest price and again and again and again and again it has salvaged me to remove the screws to remove the nuts and everything and i think these are very cheap this is available into the inches and into centimeters so i think i have got both of them they are initially available only to the wrought iron but now it is available into the aluminium things also so that it doesn't really get any rusted so that these are the two ones which i feel it is in everywhere wherever i work you have them this thing all the time and i feel it is an absolute must this is the second one i use it this is a harris wire tightener this is a wire tightener all the wire tighteners aos and other things which you have this is the one which is the simplest which i have used this is the this is the copy of an imported one first we bought it in one of the hospital which was an imported one and then it has been copied and the copy of the copy of the copy of the copy and it is being used everywhere and this is the one which is easier here this is how it is used you do ends cross them and put them into the a slot and hold them only one end has to bite into one you can bite both of them into one only one is bought it is biting and now once it is biting you will get a perfect tension so there is no slag which remains anywhere you get a perfect tension and with the same thing you twist them and once you twist them the wire is twisted and this is the one which i find again wherever i work this is an indian instrument at an indian price this is i feel the easiest instrument which you should all of you should have and this is the vice grip you can see here is the one you can see the how to hold it so th this is the one which is holding it it has come out so beautifully it has a hammer which you can take it on to it and this is also again it is an indian instrument which is much more easier to buy and as you can see once it is creeping here it will not leave it and you can really take it out i find so many occasions uh, i have been able to use this very well and this is the one which again almost everywhere where i work this i have got it there and this is the nail remover we all know very well that this is the one which dr shiva started off and this is works very well but so many times this stick breaks or so many times over a few a few you have used it will become blunt and not every time it will bite onto the screw so i have this hooked k wire now you can't hook it the way dr anand has mentioned such a sharp hook you cannot do it in the theater so this has to be pre bent into the factory and this is the one which has done really wonders for me at times now here is the one where i use this uh, i i use this instrument and it broke down at the end so once it breaks down in the end here is the hooked wire which goes in and uh, it is the one which will do, which will be able to do the same thing you will be able to take it out here is you can see into the k wire it is hooked wire is going in and it will take out the same implant uh, implant removal it is much more easier you can see this is how it goes inside and and it can go inside or it can go even outside here you can see it is going in it is going in and you can take out with the hooked wire the whole implant or here you can see <coughs> this has been broken at two ends this is the hooked wire which has been inside into one fragment and when it it went up it was going up and up and it got jammed into one side so once it was inside now i put it outside and inside i put in a steel men pin you can see it here now it was inside so i took it out and put outside and I, inside i put in a steel men pin steel men pin redirected it into the, uh, the into the zone in which it was coming out and so it can come out so you can this hooked wire is extremely useful wherever you use it now here it is the, this is the here is the one which you can see there is no screw here there is no hole here so that if you try to put that instrument uh, which is that uh, nail uh, extractor this is so small that it won't go inside also now how to take it out so first is 
in order to see that it, I am trying to put the hooked wire inside and I am holding the end of the uh, end of the implant so that it doesn't travel down below. And once having done that, now here it is, you can see the, the hooked wire got jammed inside. So I took it out and you can see how it is coming out, coming out. And unfortunately it gave way. So now it gave way, so I, I went inside it. Again, I'm holding it with so that it doesn't go down further. Now it is the hooked wire has gone inside. As you can see, it is now inside the nail and then it is coming out. So the whole thing has come out. So this hooked wire, which is cheapest, which you can really take it out and it is useful so often. So I feel that in my hook and this hook wire can break down. So you need five, seven, ten. So that you, even if one or two breaks down, you can, have, you can have a problem there. Now here, this is a bone meal. Prepare a bone graft from the head of the femur and the knees, which is, which is available, data bone. Initially, it, I started using the frozen bone. So the heads of the femur, which I used to take, and the knee, which I used to take, they would be frozen, deep frozen at minus, uh, minus um, about 80 degrees initially into the pathology department. And then when you take it out, you want to make them into small pieces. So this is a bone meal. Again, this is also locally made. This bone meal, you can use it. And it is today also, I, I can use it very well. But then generally for the Tata bone, it is not really required. Now here it is, this is the K. This is the DHS wire removal. Now this DHS, if it is jammed, this is the hollow meal which can go on to the DHS. At times, the DHS, after many years, it gets jammed here because of the bone formation occurs inside. When the bone formation occurs inside, you cannot take out your DHS. So here it is. Here is the, it is the, it is the serrated edges, and you can see. So it is like a hollow meal. It has cut the whole thing. So now it is much, it is absolutely easy to take out the DHS. Here was the screw broken. This is x-ray is not very good. This is the screw is broken. And you want to take out this broken screw. If ever you are crazy to decide to remove, then start from there. So here it is. You take a K-wire, guide wire, go there, then and go these things and, and cut it off and you can take out this wire. Now here it is, uh, some of you may not know it. This is the this is the Talwarka nail extractor. These threads, it goes here, and as you can see, it will jam it here, and then you can take it out. So if ever you some in old times we used to use this Talwarka nail and this extractor, which is extremely useful to take it out. Now here it is the Dr. Jawar Jetwa. He has made this plate bender. And this is, these are all the devices for the plate bender. It is again an Indian made by Jawar. And this is the plate bender which can be used in many ways. And it can bend the thickest of the plate also I have been able to bend. Only thing is as you can see here, this tip breaks down. So this has been the re-welded there. But this is not strong enough. But you need the, something which can come out and then it is much more easier to really turn it and you can take out the, you can really bend the plate very well. So this is the Uma, this is the Jawar, Jawar Jetwa's design, plate bender, which is very, very good. Yes. Now here is, the, this is the instrument set. I have purchased it from uh, one of the instrument company where for the, uh, for the abdomen, for the, stones and all these are the small instruments which are available all these things you can see these are the big tubes and all i have not manufactured specially for this i went to one of those companies where they used to send this uh after this uh scopy instruments and i purchased them and they can be useful very well to perpetrate in biopsy so I, when i go to just look they do this biopsy and then i go ahead from the same hole and do the biopsy with the same hole I do the biopsy. As you can see, you can you can go ahead and do the biopsy. You can take a small bite. You can take a small bite from this. You can take a small bite from this. 
this is the scoop. All of them can go through that here is that so all this from this tube you can go in and percutaneously you can do it. And here it is, I have done the osteoma. You mark it osteoma in the CT scan and then you go and put in the guide wire first. And after putting the guide wire, you can put in the drill and rim it out. So you don't need the so expensive um, um, equipment in the radiotherapy. Um, in the radiology department, you can do this in the CT scan department yourself. And it is if you have the eye of the whole set, so it is the one which is uh, which is used for a biopsy or for the osteoma. This is the one juvenile extractor. One day, one of the surgeon asked me because he had not even known that there is a juvenile extractor exists. Juvenile, we used to do it in past. This is the typical juvenile extractor which is there. And without this, the juvenile is, if it is there, then years back, it is then difficult to remove it. So this is the juvenile extractor, which is there, which is, which is used only once in two, three years. And some of the students, some of the orthopedic surgeons, if they are stuck, uh, I have, they have used it more often than what I have used it. But this is the one which is very important instrument. Now, now, this is the one this screw was, it was jutting out like this and it was hurting him because the surgeon in the femur, in the distal femur, radiologically is wounded and the screws were out and it was impossible for me to take it off from the lateral side. And so here it is, you need this wire, cut, this cutter, this is the metal cutter bar. You can take this metal cutter bar and it just comes out, you, you can see it, I am cutting in front of you. It takes hardly any time and the whole thing comes out and you will be able to just take it out like that. So th this is an important instrument. Obviously, this is the only one important instrument after those 10 instruments I have shown. But but this is one of the most important instruments. You can have a metal cutting burr and you can have a metal cutting oscillating saw or you, you can have this uh, these things. So this is very useful. This is there in almost all the hospitals where I work because I think we have been able to purchase this. This is extremely good and the whole damn thing which was so difficult to take it out, it just came out within no time. And here the same thing which I am doing it, I am taking half the fibula. So when you are taking half the fibula, I am making the drill holes and with the same oscillating saw, you make them together and you can, you can take out only half fibula. You don't need to take out the full fibula for the humerus. And this is the one with same instrument can do it for you. So this conclusion, what I could show in eight minutes, I've shown it here. There are plenty more which are there at that time, but some other time. Now, buy instruments in the meeting, which you do not have. Never think how much it will be useful and when it will be useful. We buy new shirts. We never need it. It's just because we liked it. Some, is, some of the same thing is about the instrument. And like our wives, they buy saris. They never need the new sari. They buy it because they like it. Same thing my, my philosophy is, just because the instrument exists, you should buy it. And I, every time I used to go to the meeting, 20, 30,000 rupees worth of instruments into those meetings I used to buy. And these days, whenever I go to the meetings, the only other person I see buying is Chando. And I ask him, Chanda, aur ko naya dekha kya? So he tells me so and so is the new one. So you buy it, like a plaster cutting, he has shown me. It's such beautiful, the shape. It, it really uh, keeps the skin being fed, that plaster cutting uh, saw. It is a shield for that. So I don't know if somebody has shown that or no, I don't know. Have they shown Chanda? No, 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 sir. No. So it is what I think this instrument, again, I say buy instruments in the meetings, which you do not have. Never think how much it is going to be useful. For us in the orthopedic economy, the instrument, Indian instrument, they hardly cost anything. And you will be saving at times, the whole thing will be saved and for you and for your colleagues and my students, all of them use it as and when they need it. And that's the reason I feel this is the ideal thing which you must do. You see, during the lockdown, I started appreciating the sunset, which I had never seen it from my house or from outside. This is from my own windows, lovely sunset I could see. This is the sunset in five minutes, it is changing. So I think the lockdown has done a lot of wonders for us. Thank you very much, friends. Mm -hmm.